Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a really quick fix for my hallway light. Um, so in the investment property condo, we have a hallway that has a light fixture that's like the boob light. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's just like a light fixture that's kind of rounded. Um, and it has a round base and, and then it's like rounded um, shape and then it has like a little point on the end usually it's like uh, like in the center of the rounded shape usually it's like pretty like a decorative point or whatever it has been coined the boob light by many millennials and I'm not really into it so what I did is I went ahead and went to the thrift store and picked up a lampshade that I'm actually going to remove the boob light and um, put the lampshade up instead. I'm gonna leave the base there, I think. I'm just gonna like remove the remove the glass from the boob light, um, see how the lampshade fits. I think that um, I'll need to just, you know, put it up and then it'll, you know, just fit fine. Um, I have seen this hack done on the internet before, like in reels and things like that on Instagram and whatnot. So I am trying it out. Um, I did purchase this lampshade. As you can see, it's a silver color. It has this texture to it. It's like a fabric, but it's like folded and pressed in a certain way that it has like, it has an illusion of a texture. I guess it is a texture because it's literally fabric, but it also has the added texture of the, um, the folding and the creasing and whatnot to give it like, you know, different ways that it catches a light. Um, it has like a sunken sort of um, fixture here, so it's not just straight across. Um, some of the lampshades have the um, a, like fixture part of it, how it's attached just straight across. This one is sunken in, so I'm hoping that I, this will just, just fit over the glass of the boob light. Um, if not, then we'll try something else. Um, and I did pick this up from a local thrift store. It is like kind of sort of a chain thrift store, but not really. I think it's more um, based in Southern California, but it's called Father Joe's Villages. And I picked it up for $4.99. I hope you can see that. I think you can see that. But yeah, I picked it up for $4.99. I actually really like this particular thrift store because the prices are pretty similar to what the Goodwill prices are here in Southern California. Um, it's not like dirt cheap, but it's not like, you know, the same price as it would be if you were purchasing it brand new. Um, but the good thing about this particular thrift store, unlike the Goodwill thrift stores down here in Southern California, is that this one, uh, Father Joe's, actually does tag sales. So certain colors are on sale for different days or different weeks. I think they do it um, like a weekly sale every single week. Um, and they actually do like a, a certain color 25%, a certain color 50%, and a certain color 75% off. So if you can find something and three different colors, like one of the three colors that is on sale that week, you're golden. Um, unfortunately, the Goodwills down in Southern California do not do tag sales at all. They do not do color sales. They do have different colors on their tags, but it literally has no meaning. They don't do sales in Southern California. However, the Salvation Armies do do color sales in Southern California. So. Just a fun fact, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, flip the camera around, try to swap this out really quick, and I hope that you like this video, and I hope that it works. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later.